three Chinese astronauts aboard the nation's space station are getting ready to teach their first science class from space. Hello there, you're watching The World Today, coming to you live from Beijing. I'm Xiao Yang. Chinese astronauts will be giving a lecture to young students on Earth this afternoon from the nation's space station. So I have a ping pong ball. I put it into the glass of water. Can you see that? The ping pong ball actually not really coming back to the surface, right? It's inside the water. So that's phenomenon quite different from what you have there on Earth. Because that buoyant force actually seems disappear because there's no gravity here. So we talk about that in the absence of a gravity, there seems like no the buoyancy. I'm Don Pettit. Do I'm a NASA astronaut. I've flown three times to the International Space Station and spent over a year living there. I do not believe you that you can get a great cup of coffee inside the International Space Station. Okay. Most of the time, you are absolutely correct. The standard cup will not work in a weightless environment. You know, the cup that we're all used to drinking. Wait, I have a oh. stunt cup right here. Oh, this, yeah. A standard cup like this does not work in a weightless environment. It requires gravity to hold the fluid in the bottom of the cup, and it requires gravity to allow the fluid to flow out when you want to take a sip. A standard cup like this does not work in a weightless environment. It requires gravity to hold the fluid in the bottom of the cup. It requires gravity to hold the fluid in the bottom of the cup. It requires gravity to hold the fluid in the bottom of the cup. And it requires gravity to allow the fluid to flow out when you want to take a sip. Busted. Now that's really, really funny and there is no doubt about it. They are both liars. But what's really funny is this lady here says there's no buoyancy in a zero gravity environment. But watch the piece of trash that got into the glass of water. Watch it float back to the top of the water. That's called buoyancy. Proving that she's not in a zero gravity environment. <laughs> now, I know most of you are saying, but hold on a minute. How is the ping pong ball staying under the water? Well, that's really, really simple because it's not a ping pong ball, it's a little sponge ball. And as she sticks the straw in, that's why she's using this great big old straw to put right over the top of it. And as she pushes it down into the water, all the bubbles, all the oxygen bubbles in the sponge ball go right through the straw. And you never see the bubbles go through there until I zoom in to show you the last little bubble escaping up the straw. Check this out. Let me zoom in a little closer. Okay, now watch this. There it goes, right up into the straw, and then you can still see the last little bubble clinging on to the little sponge ball that didn't make it up the straw. <laughs> I would suggest that China stick to making cheap tools because they're not really good at faking space. 